The imperative infinitive construct and infinitive absolute forms of third aleph verbs are formed normally. For instance, with the imperative, you will recall that an imperative is formed by removing the prefix of the imperfect. With katal, the PL imperative, feminine singular, would be ka tali. Likewise, the PL imperative feminine singular of matsa is matsi. With katal, the cal infinitive construct would be k-tol. Likewise, the cal infinitive construct of matsa is mutso. With katal, the hifiel infinitive absolute would be hak tail and the hifiel infinitive absolute of matsa is ham tse. Two examples, first Job 3130, velo natati lahato hiki. So and not, and then the first verb, cal perfect first common singular of natan, to give, but better glossed in this case, to let or permit. And I have not let l the preposition chato cal infinitive construct of chata to sin, and then chiki. Chik is a rarer word for mouth, and then e is the possessive suffix my mouth. Second example Genesis one twenty two, Peru, uruvu. Umil u et ha mayam ba yamim. So peru u revu are two cal imperatives from para and then from raba. So two third hay imperatives. Cal imperative masculine plural of para and raba respectively. Be fruitful para and multiply, Rabbah, u mil u, now u, the connector and, plus a cal imperative masculine plural of mala, formed just as one would expect, and fill, et, marking the definite direct object, the waters in the seas. The participle forms of third aleph verbs are also formed normally. For instance, in the strong verb, the masculine singular participle would be ko tail. And with a third aleph verb like matsa, the form would be mot se. So a normal formation of the participle. The only exception is the feminine singular participle. In this case, while the typical form would end in telet, that form is replaced by its sere and the quiescent aleph. So the cal active participle in the feminine singular of matza would be motsate instead of motselet. The pl participle, feminine singular, would be mamatse instead of mamatselet. The hifial participle, feminine singular, would be mamtse, and the hofial par hofal participle feminine singular would be mumtse, mumtse. In each case, just remember that the typical telet ending is replaced by this sate ending. Two examples. First, Song of Songs 810. Az hayiti ba'enav kumotsate shalom. So, az, then, hayiti, cal, perfect, first common singular of haya. So, the two yodes in a row, the first is the root letter yod. This is what we call a middle weak verb because it has middle yod. And then the second yod here is the indicator that this is a third hay root. So, cal, perfect, third, uh, first common singular of haya, then I was 
B A N A V. N I N is I, and Av is the third masculine singular suffix. So in his eyes, K like or as, and then the participle, participle feminine singular, note eight, like one who finds. So moat sait motsa eight remember that this form is no different than motsa eight. The only difference is whether it's written with the mater or not. So this is the cal participle feminine singular of matsa to find in the feminine singular one who finds shalom peace. Second, Ezekiel 13, 17. But note, Amaka, Hamit Nabaot, Milibachen, Vahinabe Alehen. So let's break it into two pieces at the Athnak. Note the marker there of the accent. But note, Amaka, daughters of your people the daughters of your people, because there's a possessive suffix on the absolute noun, then they are described by the definite article he plus the participle mit nabaot. So this is a hit pael participle, feminine plural, of the root naba to prophecy. And as a feminine plural participle, note that it is exactly the form would spec, one would expect from a hit by L participle feminine plural. Then milibohen from or in lave heart hen their hearts. So the daughters of your people, the ones who prophesy in their hearts, then we have avav plus a nifal imperative, so hinabe, nifal imperative masculine singular of naba, to prophesy. Remember that nifal imperatives have a hi prefix. So nifal imperative, prophesy alehem, all against hen, them.